Okay, class, so in this video, I want to provide some hopefully helpful hints for the watershed assignment. The goal of this assignment is to get you to understand more about what a watershed is and how it works and what it looks like. And we're actually going to use Google Earth to estimate and measure the boundaries of a watershed using a topographic map. So hopefully you have been able to download Google Earth Pro and if you type in Google Earth Pro up here in the search bar, Laurel Canyon Reservoir, you'll fly to this spot here. This is the Laurel Canyon Reservoir. So this is a watershed. This is a river that's been dammed and creating a reservoir. But what we're most interested in is the watershed or drainage area that feeds that reservoir. And so one tool that we use is topography. And I'm also hopeful if you were successful in downloading this topographic map layer from EarthPoint. So once that's in Google Earth, you turn that on and it'll look like this. When you download the topo map online, it'll actually pop up like this on screen. One of the nifty tools about uh, Google Earth is that with this topo map, you can once the topo map is engaged, then you can use this transparency bar and click on that and then move it more and more transparent so that you can go from a pure air photo view to a view that starts to incorporate those contour lines. So you understand maybe looking at this air photo, you can see, wow, it looks like there's some kind of a hill here and a, and a river with the topo map. It gives you much more information about what's actually going on with the earth there. So I don't know if you have much experience reading a topographic map. Uh, you certainly don't need to be an expert on that to do this work. Uh, but in a nutshell, with topography, each of these squiggly lines is a line of equal elevation. So if you were this hand on screen and you were walking along this brown line, you would not be changing any elevation. It would be a nice flat walk for you. Now, uh, uh, if you go cr across these lines, that means you're either going uphill or downhill. And I'm hoping that you can see, just looking at the map and the shading, that if you're walking this way, crossing these lines, you're going downhill toward that river. Uh, on the other hand, if you're walking this direction, crossing these lines, you're climbing steeply uphill until you get to this ridge, and then you're going to be going downhill to the other river. So the reason I'm making a big deal out of this is that this is how you determine the boundary of the watershed. So imagine rain falling out of the sky. If it falls here where my hand is, the water is going to flow and feed this river and be part of this watershed. If the water falls over here, it's going to go downhill toward this river and be part of another watershed. So now we can use that to delineate and measure the watershed using the tools in Google Earth. So for the football field exercise in Google uh, Earth, we used the, the ruler and we clicked around and measured an area that way. In Google Earth Pro, it's a little different. I wish it wasn't, but it is. There's still a ruler and you click on the ruler and then you choose the polygon because that's, and that's gonna give you an area here in acres. So that's nice and all set up. So now is the hard work of figuring out the boundary of the watershed. Uh, this is the dam. So we're going to start by when you want to lay a point down, you double click, double click. And so and then click along. Now, now is what your job is, is to look at this topo map and figure out where is that ridge that separates this watershed, the Loro Canyon watershed from the adjacent watersheds, and I'm getting you started here. This is a ridge line. Again, if you're hiking out of the canyon, you go up, up, up. Here's a ridge and you go down, down, down. Right at that divide is where you want to be. So click along the divide and this polygon forms. It starts to make a complete shape. Uh, don't freak out. Just keep going until you get back to the starting point of the dam. And when you've delineated the watershed that way, you'll get a readout in acres. Right now, this weird shape here is 14.88 acres. 
as you continue on delineating the watershed, you'll end up with a larger area. Then what I hope to do for, in terms of turning this in is to show me a screenshot or some kind of uh, evidence that you have been able to do this delineation and what your area is in acres and use that answer to uh, use your area estimate to answer the questions uh, that are in the assignment.